Hey friends, welcome to our channel. Barry from Thor here, bringing you another video in our education series. If you're new to exploring Thor or LED wall technology, you've come to the right place. Today, we're gonna be diving into some of the basics of an LED wall system. Like, how do these things work anyway? If there are any questions that come up, as always, please drop a comment below. We'll be happy to answer that for you. And if you're interested in learning more about LED walls, going even more in depth, be sure to follow along, like, subscribe, you know what to do. So what's the deal with these LED walls? How do they work? What do you need to know for it to all make sense? Are they just a bunch of TVs with HDMI cables plugged in the back? I actually get asked that a lot, and the answer is not at all. <laughs> Let's dive in. Use the timestamps below to skip around if you need to. Here we have an example system. This is our LED wall. Here's our processor and a video source. Moving into the display itself, this is built from nine Thor Ridge 2.5 pixel pitch panels. If those words don't all make sense yet, they will by the end of the video. Now, this view gives you a better idea of how things are laid out. Again, this is nine panels. It's three panels tall and three panels wide. If we move around to the back, I think it'll make a little bit more sense. Here, you're gonna see that all the panels are connected together. Now, we'd have all the power and data cables connected, but in addition to this, there's the physical connecting of the panels, and this is gonna be done typically with a latching style system. So let's go ahead and pull one down and take a closer look. We're gonna go ahead and pull our power and our data cables and pull the panel down. An LED panel is fairly complicated, but we'll break it down to a few basic components and go, go through it from there. The front surface of the panel is what we call a module. Now a module has all of the individual LEDs or SMDs attached to it. There's different types of display technology. Again, this is an SMD LED. This particular panel has 32,400 SMDs. Now, how many are on your panel is gonna depend on what model and what pixel pitch you're using. Pixel pitch really is just the measurement of the distance between the center of this SMD and the center of this SMD. This is a 2.5 millimeter pixel pitch panel, so that means the center from here to here is 2.5 millimeters apart. Which pitch is right for you is gonna depend on a lot of factors. You really need to consider how close people are to the wall, if it's gonna be on camera, how things are gonna interact, lensing, that sort of thing. So moving on to the back of our panel, here you see the chassis. This is where the modules attach, as well as the power data box. And then we have our latches as well, so we can connect to our different hardware systems and other panels. The power data box is where we house the rest of the electronics, our power supply, receiving cards, that sort of thing. You'll see a power input, a power output, and then our two data ports as well. And then finally, we have our test button, and this is used to go through our test patterns as well. That's a basic overview of the panel itself. Let's go ahead and reconnect it to the wall. you play on your LED wall is really up to you. Just about any source that outputs video can be connected. Some of the more common examples would be a computer running a presentation style software, video switchers where you might cut between multiple cameras and graphic sources. Some of the creative designs I've seen will use media servers typically. Signage playback systems are also common. There's lots of things that you can connect. In our particular example, we're using a playback software. We're running from the HDMI output of that computer directly into the HDMI input of the processor. Now think of the processor as the brains of your system. For this example, we're using a Brompton processing platform. And inside of the processor, there's a ton of options. We can do things like manipulate the LED wall and the sources that are running to it as well. Adjustments that you can make are things like brightness, colors adjustments, you can scale your sources. And then on the more complicated side, you can dial in camera settings and really just make that system work really well together, dial out any sort of imperfections that you may have in your image as well. One of the other primary functions of a processor is mapping. Now, what mapping is, is essentially translating the physical layout, how all of your cables are run and how the panels are set on your system and laying it out virtually inside the processor so that the processor knows where to place the image on each LED panel. In our example today, our wall is mapped from the bottom right corner and we're moving up from there 
over, down, over again, and back up. Physically, that's how our cables are landed, and that's also how we have it mapped inside the processor. As you can see, there really is a lot that's happening inside of the processor. These units greatly affect the quality of your final display, so choosing a processing platform that really meets your specific goals and needs is extremely important. This LED map is pretty straightforward. It can definitely get a lot more complicated from here, and that's gonna depend on things like how many panels you have, how many ports you need to use, and the physical layout as well. That's actually one of my favorite things about LED walls is the different creative ways that you can use them. You can think of your LED panels as lighting elements or as scenic elements. You can break them out across the stage in tons of pieces. It doesn't have to be just this. On that note, there are lots of different ways to mount the screens. We do manufacture several different hardware solutions, such as the Flown system that you see here today. That's pretty straightforward, but there are a lot more complicated systems like ground stack, wall mount, and then you start diving into the custom solutions as well. Just about any shape or configuration that you can dream of can be done, and that's something that's really important to us at Thor, which is to enable you to have the tools you need for creating any sort of visual that you'd like to achieve.